Andres, mami wants to know what you want for dinner. Juan Andres, do you want to put yourself? What are you watching? Uh, it's, uh, it's the man that's going to make the country great again. Oh my gosh, look at his face. He looks like Dean Roberts. Is he your dean of classes? Yeah, she is. Yeah, so I went to her office, right, because I needed to talk about the issue I had with my credits, like I told you about before. And so I go in there, and she starts, like, asking me these questions that don't really pertain to anything. She asked, like, who, like, who I am, like, where I'm from. So I was like, this is, should obviously be on file. So I'm like, okay, like, she knows, like, I'm from Springfield and I commute there. So it's like, there's no reason to ask me that. But then she starts to get deeper, and she just starts asking me all these, like, personal questions. And she asked my parents were together, and it's like... No, they haven't. They're never married. It's like, why? Why does that have to do with my credits? You know, she lives here. My dad's in PR. It's just weird. Like, I'm thinking of, all, of everything we talked about. It was just like, it was mainly just my family, like my background. I'd, we really didn't even touch on the academics. And it was just like, she was kind of like trying to figure out what the problem was. Um, she just keeps talking. And then she mentions how it's my fault that I made my advisor feel stressed out, which is like, if your advisor's stressed out, you might want a different job, lady. <laughs> so I'm just there, I'm like, okay. And then at the end of this, she like says, I have something for you that shows that I understand you and where you come from. So she reaches into a drawer and I'm thinking, man, like, she's gotta have money, like, you know. She's a dean. She's reaching to a drawer, I'm like, yeah, that's gonna be dope. Do you wanna know what she gives me? I don't know. A pencil. Okay with a Puerto Rican flag on it. <laughs> it's not even mechanical pencil, it's a straight up old school pencil. She asks, do you know what this is? And I said, why ma'am, that's the Puerto Rican flag. <gasps> she gave me a whole pencil. Wow. With a mini flag. And then I took it and I was just like, thank you, I was gracious because that's, I was raised and I'd leave. I'm like, does she have one for every country? <laughs> I had the pencil in my hand and I'm like, okay, like what drove you to give me the pencil? I feel like she was kind of like trying to figure out what the problem was, you know, mm -hmm. like I didn't have my dad around. So like that was the reason why, not because my advisor messed up, not because anyone in administration messed up, but because me myself had made a mistake. I was going through the things I was going through academically and decided I'm gonna cut this kid a break. I never wanna deal with her again, or the advisor. Honestly, I'm so done at this point. I feel like I've never really had to experience that. Of course not. You're dark, people know who you are. You don't gotta prove anything to anyone. I mean, I still have to prove myself, though. No, it's a completely different thing, because what you have to prove yourself is in a world just like everyone else does. People believe who you are, your identity. You just have to prove that you have enough skill to do whatever it is you wanna do. I have to have that on top of the fact that no one believes who I am, who I say I am, where I come from. I thought it was the other way around. Mm. I didn't think that, you know, the color of my skin would be important, but clearly I was wrong. It's like that freaking dress. It was a white and gold and blue and black. Who cares? It's what? an ugly dress anyway. What, what color did I think it was? Blue and black. Yeah, it was yeah, that dress was blue, definitely blue and black. Yeah, definitely. Get out. I'm sorry. Mm. Have you seen that meme where like they replaced his lips with, with his eyes? <laughs>